Lovers of Freedom. The theme of my poem and reflection is, why is your sword against your brother Cain? I am Priest Kamukore. What a disgrace to be ignorant, to forget that life is a gift from God, that God distributed this gift among we creatures, irrespective of our culture, religion, tradition, or race. Behind the scenes where we cannot see, there is a divine work of the invisible God. God allowed us to make choices and decisions to enable us to write on the springs of time. I call on came from the north, south, east and west of all nations for brief questioning. Cain, why have you felt God again in your duty to protect life? For one more time, you descended on your brother Abel. You have raised the same sword on the youths of your nation. Where is your conscience? Can't you hear him cry? Killing, prejudice, arrogance, and bitterness has verified your inability to be at peace with Abel because you deny the true nature that called you to love. You now haunt your brother's life like monsters. Cain, why have you allowed the angel of destruction to encourage you? You deadly destroy your brother's properties. You treat him with insolence and torture. Burning him alive, you make him regret his word. Cain, why have you allowed vanity to turn your discontented thoughts, reactions, and display to shame? Your sword, your words, expressions, and feelings are only a reflection of anger envy and hate against your fellow man. Cain, if you believe the report of history, you will understand that your brother loves you. Your brother helped you in your time of need. If not for his kindness, your enemies would have defeated you. Cain, the voice of God is still asking, where is your brother Abel? Even as you changed your name to Saul, the question remains, why do you persecute me? Today, everyone is asking, Cain, Saul, why such bitterness on your brothers? Cain, the absence of love has created emptiness in you, creating a vacuum in ambition, desire, pleasure, or possession, why fear grows in the emptiness of love? In love, there is fullness of life. Cain, your wicked hands have stripped of your dignity, while our eyes stream with tears at the feet of Jesus Christ to attain a comfortable and well-grounded hope of unity. You must give to the world a proof of your sincerity and repentance. Cain, for one more time, come back to yourself. Do not allow greed and arrogance to mislead you. Jealousy is the root of anger. We cannot love while we are concerned with ourselves. We are better together as brothers. Mm -hmm.